Hi, this is Jeff Levy for Adult Entertainment Forum and welcome to another edition. This is a new year and a new start and of course new problems and old problems. Right now in the New Jersey State uh, Legislature there was a bill that was introduced, Bill 298, which again is sponsored by Rumpf and Lampet who are kind of becoming uh, the enemies of adult entertainment by adopting all this legislation, have pre-filed this bill uh, 298 that calls for a six foot distance requirement, 11 o'clock closing, and you know the typical uh, bad bill that we do not like. This bill was originally introduced in February uh, 23 of 2006 and was pre-filed. So we're watching this very, very carefully, this bill. It's been attached to the Housing and Local Government Committee and we've been speaking to the Office of Legislative Services to make sure that we're informed if this bill moves in any direction whatsoever. And we've talked to key people at the Capitol in Trenton to uh, ensure that we're well informed and I can assure you that we are well prepared to attack this bill. There are no other bills in the Senate that have the same revision, but I have to tell you that uh, still that uh, Bill 945 is still out there, the same thing, 11 o'clock closing, six foot distance requirement, can't be open on Sunday, and we are diligently watching those as well. Uh, on the Pennsylvania side, uh, I do have some good news for the New Jersey Hospitality uh, Entertainment Association. Our arch nemesis, Representative Paul Clymer has finally given up after I think 30 or 40 years of being in office, never being defeated. He is the one who hates adult entertainment more than anybody that we have ever met in this country. He has actually said that uh, if we get rid of adult entertainment, that everything else will kind of fix itself. He blames all crime, all prostitution, all child abuse on adult entertainment in Pennsylvania. Little did he bring up in our debate, because it didn't happen at that time, that the assistant DA, again, had raped some kids and uh, it was at a church outing. He doesn't mention these things, but uh, he's also uh, introduced a poll tax in Pennsylvania, which would uh, give an extra $5 surcharge for every person who walks in to an adult entertainment establishment in Pennsylvania, day or night and uh, that money would go to one of his favorite charities for children or women who have been abused. Now we're all in favor of contrib you know, contributing to these things, but we are not responsible for these behaviors. The politicians, the doctors, the clergy, we've documented uh, very diligently that they're the ones who are responsible and we're just not going to tax our customers. And thank God that he is gone and uh, we'll have to look into supporting uh, whoever is going to run for the uh, 145th seat in Bucks County. We've been approached and uh, the executive board will uh, decide and make that determination whether to, uh, you know, help and uh, contribute to political figures. Also, we have a couple of meetings coming up with the executive boards only so that we can solidify a few things. On February 2nd at the Newark Hilton, uh, at 1 o'clock, we have a meeting of the New Jersey Adult Cabaret Association, which is the president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer, to discuss the uh, issues of the day, and there's many issues that need to be discussed. So we uh, will go over that agenda and uh, let all our membership know what the minutes are and what we discussed and uh, what we came up with as far as our uh, strategies and solutions. Um, the same thing for the uh, Pennsylvania Hospitality and Entertainment Association. We have a meeting on February 3rd at uh, Sprago's on 34 Front Street in Philadelphia where we always have our meetings and again that is of the executive board and also the general councils are uh, certainly uh, invited to attend those meetings which we encourage uh, very much. Uh, let's talk about a little bit about world politics and what's going on. You know, the adult entertainment industry really gets a bad rap in, the, in society. We have all these preconceived notions that, you know, we're some kind of, uh, you know, evil people who walk around with horns on our head and we have tails. And that's, just, you know, just mythology. It doesn't exist. It doesn't happen. We've been really good community citizens and I'm very proud of the things that we have done for the community that commu community doesn't know about, the government doesn't know about. We contribute so much food and money and time because many of the entertainers and many of the people in our industry 
were at one time, you know, hopelessness and, and helplessness were tied together. And all of a sudden they came into our industry and they were able to become financially stable. So they know what it's like to hurt and they know what it's like to be poor. And uh, Slim Bolcom, uh, a great man, a mentor of mine from MAL Entertainment, who I worked for for many years in conjunction with Slim, we put together a program called Operation Education, which helped entertainers to get their GEDs where we paid on a Tuesday night for them to come in with state certified tutors and bought their books and, and, and paid them to come and we helped them out that way. We also do a thing, a food drive, where the entertainers give up their house fees and uh, they got to bring in three cans of dry food dry food goods and we waive that house fee and we raise tons and tons and tons of food for the homeless and the hungry and that's certainly a wonderful thing. When I became the first executive director of ACE, uh, it was about maybe uh, two weeks after that 9-11 had occurred and one of the things that I tried to do and accomplish was to reach out to the adult entertainment industry, especially the nightclub industry, for donations and we had people going from our industry giving blood, food and doing everything they needed to do because they were feeling it from the heart. They knew they were Americans and they stepped up to the plate. And what I'm asking, where this is going is, uh, you know there's a lot of people in Haiti that are hurting. There's been this uh, terrible earthquake and everybody's been contributing. Many of the adult entertainment uh, facilities have been given, giving a lot of money and been very, very charitable, especially the entertainers and owners. And I think we can do more and we can do better. And again, remember where we come from. A lot of our entertainers have come from very uh, hurt environments at one time. And I know this because I worked with them and I have felt their pain at one time. And I'm asking all the entertainers to give to the American Red Cross as much as they can, as often as they can. And every little bit certainly helps. Uh, make sure that when you give that money to the American Red Cross that you tell them that it specifically uh, goes to the people of Haiti. Also another wonderful organization that we support and we give money to is Doctors Without Borders, which is an amazing uh, group of people who go there and do some great and wonderful things for everybody and anybody who is suffering. But even as great as their talents are, they need money to get there, they need medicine, they need food, and they need clothing. And I'm asking the adult entertainment industry to step up to the plate and show that we are compassionate human beings. And I know that we are, and we've been doing that in the past, and we will continue uh, to do these things. And I'm very proud at uh, the fact that we do what we do. This is Jeff Levy for the Adult Entertainment Forum, saying enjoy adult entertainment, uh, help the people in Haiti. Let's, uh, you know, have a great year in 2010. We got these upcoming meetings. Please attend them and we'll keep you informed on anything that's uh, going to hurt you. But stay with us and we'll see you next week.